Located at the foot of Capitol Hill, the United States Botanic Garden was first proposed by President George Washington in a 1796 letter. Throughout its history, the, the United States Botanic Garden has proven to be a um, malleable entity. Um, at its core has been an idea from our founding fathers of the importance of plants to the country and to people. And so as an institution, the, the mission has always been to demonstrate the importance of plants to the public. Um, like living plants, which constantly change and evolve, the even bricks and mortar of the institution have changed and evolved changed and evolved in response to the will of Congress um, and the evolution of the city itself. And so the garden has managed to focus on um, many important aspects of plants um, as they were important at their time while keeping a thread of historical plant um, stewardship as well as um, demonstration to the public about the importance of horticulture and other plant um, uses. So, for example, just as the original 1842 plant collection showcased a whole new world of plants and ecosystems that really would never have been um, viewed by the public at that time, today the Botanic Garden focuses on the, the new frontiers of ecosystems. Um, and in many cases, that's the ecosystems of our own backyard. And the Bartholdi Park, um, the park itself, was set up in a planting design to demonstrate new horticultural specimens, planting designs, and other aspects of horticulture that would be useful to the home gardener. And we continue that tradition today by showcasing sustainable and exciting horticultural techniques that make um, the residential landscape more ergonomic, more um, efficient to maintain, and give it a better resource value for cleaning water, cleaning air, and wildlife habitat. On the same token, as we're becoming more aware of environmental stewardship, we're also becoming more aware of um, plants' resources in terms of agriculture and other important um, products that we derive from plants. And so you'll see behind me some sort of unusual plants in the bed of the Bartholdi Fountain. And they are fennel and wheat. Um, and we're talking here about the importance of home gardening um, for food, for spice, for flavor, um, and also the importance of agriculture in the history of, of our nation and certainly um, in its current context as in, as in terms of its importance for food security um, and, uh, and, and um, its importance in terms of controlling or mitigating any aspects of environmental degradation. So there's really a fascinating historical arc where the garden has changed a lot, but it stayed true to its mission of showing um, and demonstrating to the American people the importance of plants. And one of the great things about our location is that although we're set up by Congress to really demonstrate to the American people, we're open, up, we're open 365 days a year, 366 on leap years, free of charge. And so we get not only Americans from every corner of, of our wonderful country, but visitors from all over the world. And we aim here to delight people in the wonders of plants um, and put a smile on your face. And then with that smile, we believe that we can educate about some of the wonders and services that the plant kingdom provides to human beings.